Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Terry. We are full-time treasure hunters and resellers. We work hard. And we play hard. We travel the Northwest buying storage units as well as scouring the United States for liquidation merchandise. Our 20 years of experience has created a passion for reselling and has allowed us to spend time with our family and enjoy recreational and travel around the world. We believe laughter is the medicine of life and we are here to share it with you. Please join us on this journey and keep laughing with Mike and Terry's Retail. Hey guys, Mike and Terry here, back with you today on Fun Friday. Oh man, I am excited guys. This is the beginning of a new age. <laughs> oh man. Hey, welcome back to our channel guys. We are going to have some fun today. We've got our Plinko board set up. We've got our Tall. massive Whoville palette. Oh, Whoville. I yeah. like it. I'll put a picture in so you guys can see what that... In fact, I'm going to... Here. Yeah, talk you, to them. I'm going to talk to they, them. They need hey. to know what Whoville looks like. Exactly. Welcome back, everybody. And as Mike's getting a Whoville picture for you here, uh, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Leave us one of your amazing comments and some thumbs up and show us that you are enjoying this content and having some laughs with us because that's what we're all about is to show you on what you can make out of a palette. Good, bad, laugh. Ugly. Laughing is a very important. Boom. Ugly. Boom. The reality of it here. No sugar coating it. We are going to tell you the prices that are in our pockets. No shipping, no fees. All said and done, guys. So get that beverage ready and let's have some fun. So Fun Friday, Mike. Yes. All right, everybody. What we have decided with Fun Friday, as you all know, is going to be Plinko. How do we decide Plinko, though? Well, we are, it's always going to be different. Sometimes it will be as this one's going to be a food challenge. Sometimes it might be one person, one of us is going to have to go do chores for the other person. One, sometimes it may be something we got to go do on a vacation. Sometimes it might be giveaways. They could be local giveaways. They could be giveaways to YouTube viewers here. It's always going to change every Friday. So this Friday, we are going to do this one. Mike and I are going to have to... We picked four different food items, guys. Two of them that we like and two of them that we do not like. So, we're going to let the chips or tokens or whatever these things are, we're going to let them decide exactly what we're having for dinner today. So, the green ones are the good ones. We got pizza. Yes! Mike's favorite. Yellow here. We are, could have steamed Brussels sprouts with blue cheese crumbles on top. We do not want to land on Please, that. Please, no. Or tacos. Yes! Or <laughs> double decker peanut butter pickle sandwiches. No. Peanut butter pickles sound terrible. Mike hates pickles in general. So, yes, the chips are going to do the talking, and you guys will get a chance to see. We're putting us it in there, guys. You're going to see it. Or bad. So, let's see, Mike. So, you... where are we going to put it in at the end of the video? Yes. Okay, we'll so it, at the we'll end of the video, the video, you guys will see us eat whatever in the world these things land on. Oh, my. All Please right. be good. Please be good. Who's going first? Last time I tried to go first, okay, and I I'm dropped, going first. I dropped my token. I'm going to go right in the middle. And you notice how I rotated good and bad? So. You really can't try to make good all on one side. All right. So here we go. Yes! <laughs> Pizza! Oh! Boom! <laughs> oh, you man. You cannot go in the same slot okay. as me. So she went in this one. I'm going to go over here. Oh, boy. You know what? I'm going to go right here. I'm going to oh, mix it up, boy. guys. Here we go. Uh oh. Oh no. Steamed Brussels good. sprouts with blue cheese oh, crumbles. I was dreading that one. Mike, enjoy your dinner. I'm having pizza. Yeah, you're also having Brussels sprouts <laughs> with blue cheese. Oh my god. Okay guys. Hate, at the end, do not Brussels leave sprouts. too early because you're gonna see it happen. Oh, oh man. 
I'm glad we got pizza, though. You're in trouble. <laughs> Brussels sprouts. Oh, just the smell for me is terrible. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I know some of you guys do like Brussels sprouts. Yes. There are a lot of people in the world that do. So, leave us a comment. Let us know actually, what you guys actually think. Some of the comments I would love to also have them leave is other bad food choices that in the future you would like us to, to see us do again. Yeah. That I would really like. Let's you guys about kick this. it up some. Give us some bad food choices. So maybe next time we do the food one, we can use some of your choices. Okay, oh, guys? Oh, man, guys. Oh. I came up with a couple and Terry just absolutely said, uh-uh, uh -uh. no way. You want to see me literally get sick on film. We are not doing those. There, somebody right now is going to comment and say, yeah, I want to see Whatever this. that is, do okay. it. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Okay, are you ready? I want to bring, bring the boom. boom. Whew, let's see. We had fun with uh, Fun Friday so far. Let's see if we're going to bring in the boom train following it. We're All in. This. All in. $385. Retails 2504 dollars there's 15 items right there, which is going to break it down to $25.66 per item. So I'm really hoping for $385 that we are going to double that. I mean, I, I, at least, I at least would like to see a double up off of this. How can we not profit? Well, it's very easy how you cannot. It's, it's liquidation. <laughs> but let's see. Can we or can we not at least profit $385. My fingers are going to be crossed. This is going to be a mixed palette. It Ooh. can really go either way. It's going to be a boom or a bust here, guys. Why do I have a feeling that's not what's in that bag? I have a feeling this was bait and switch on us on yeah. this one. So this is supposed to, supposed to be a bait and switch, probably. An UGG Comforter. One of those like mink style, really that soft, don't look fuzzy. Mink to me. Unless it's inside out. It could, could be. be turned inside. It definitely could be. It's turned inside yeah. out. Wait, stop. Okay. Sorry, I that thought it sounded I was... like a cuckoo clock starting to yeah. go off. We don't have <laughs> enough cuckoos. We got enough cuckoos. We got in enough our life. Coo Oh my lord. Isn't this, this is soft? Nice. Why can we have a queen bed? Because yeah, we would kick each other for sure in our sleep. What do you think? Is it new? Oh my gosh. I think it is. Look how clean that is. It looks fine, Front guys. and back. Let's find that out how much money we're going to um, make on it. That is so soft. Why could the... Oh, Mike, stick your hand into here. I'm already moved on to the no. next item. Go, put your hand right there, you guys. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> no, it really is. I just... I'm just... I, I, I could literally just keep that and wrap up in it. Mike, leave me alone on our side of the bed. I'm wrapped up like a cocoon into this one. <laughs> so how much are we going to get out of it? <laughs> let, me, let me zip this up and scan that. <laughs> the worst part is, you kind of smiled and laughed. You, you can literally vision that, couldn't oh, you? Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I'm just trying to figure out how much coffee you had today. You know when you left me alone for an hour and a half today? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I had to go to the dump today, guys. It's just one of the realities of being a full-time reseller. Uh, we go to the dump at least once a week. It's probably about once a week. We can't, we can't avoid it. Dump once a week, and when then you process pallets, this many pallets, pallets to deal with once a week on top of it. So, are you ready? Are you ready to boom this? This is good. Yes. Okay, this was queen size, three piece comforter, three faux fur comforter, and two shams probably. I wonder if they're all in there. Okay, right? <sighs> Retails two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, it is Boom. on sale for two hundred and twelve dollars. <gasps> it was so soft. Hundred bucks. I don't want to let it go. What's our? What do you think? Hundred. We. We do pretty good. With you know. Those. Uh, I guess pretty good. I'm gonna still go. I'm gonna put it down for a hundred. Reality is, I I feel eighty. Eighty is gonna come out of okay, it. Put so down 80. I'm putting eighty because I really feel like that is gonna be what in our pocket all said and done is gonna be is eighty dollars off of that. So this says it's a desk, you guys. Wow, it's, really? It's uh, metal. I can hear it rattling. Oh, it's the 
box is pretty rough. This is either used and put back in here, or not complete. Here's or... a return slip. Let's see what it says. Broken glass refund. Yeah, this was a glass top desk, guys. And there's no glass. There's definitely no glass. Well, thank you for not sending the broken glass back to us. I greatly appreciate that. I don't know how we. That's it no will money. Be uh, scrap metal. So back to that thing we were talking about going to the dump. <laughs> you were just there, but that would get recycled. Just so you guys, yes, just so it you know, go we recycle everything we can possibly recycle. Not only does it help the environment, it also makes those dump fees a lot lower. Correct, and definitely want to help the environment. We got, you got the world to take care of. We only have one. You have the world on your shoulders, Mike. One world. <laughs> I always hey, do. Hey, let's see. Dome family. It looks brand new. Dump, it looks factory dome. sealed. Dome, dream on me. It's, let's see. It's Dom, dream on me family. Ah. Oh. And this I don't is, know. This I was is just actually, starting to sing a song in my head. This is an expensive uh, brand of baby stuff. Instead of dream on me, the song is actually lean on me. Don't sing it. I'm not. All I'm right. just talking about We're going to check it. I'm just talking about leaning on me, babe. Some people are going to say, why did you just <laughs> open a brand new factory sealed item? Well, because the box was smashed, so I got to check it and make sure that it's not damaged. And this, I mean, from what I can see, you guys, the spot where it was damaged on the box is undamaged inside. This is perfect. Is it perfect? Yep, it is. Brand new. You know, we're definitely going to have to get a better price on this because the only thing that's really popping up is eBay for $66. Just, did you do a manual search? No, I have not gone that into that area yet. All right. But Pick I'm a new to, item. I'll you're manual going to? search it. You manual search it. Let's see. Right in front of us here. We have... Wishes Oval... Wishes Oval Bassinet. Oh. Okay, so they're saying that we're supposed to have a bassinet here. Let's give this a quick scan since we got the barcode right there. And let's see if this is a full bassinet or what we have here. What do you got there? Forty-four dollars for that little bassinet, you guys. So, really? Um, the dream on me. It's a very uh, inexpensive. Definitely less than what I thought it was going to be. But it's brand new, so that's so. Great. Yeah, cut that one open. Yeah, really? this one's going to need some. For a whole bassinet? Yeah. Well, it's a little portable. It's just a little portable. Oh. I'm gonna put on down, the go. I'm gonna put down for twenty-five dollars. I think we can get twenty-five. I think we can get twenty-five dollars. What I want to know, is this the actual... This is an actual back? Well, because the title says full-length skirt. It's a, it's a bassinet. See, here's the legs. So it's a fold-up okay. bassinet, and it has a full-length skirt that covers those <laughs> legs, little legs. Look at this. So... You have to <laughs> uh, Well, that's why this isn't making sense. I'm laughing at how are they only charging $50? Well, they're charging expensive shipping. Oh, wait a minute. This one's only $55. Yeah, with a $131 delivery fee. $131 for shipping? Now, the ones with the free delivery fee, let's be realistic now. $75 and six, 16 cents at every, at every place. Look at that. Well, you know what that tells me? It's a set price. That's a third-party seller that's selling oh, through yeah, all those, those websites. Those, through all of these? Yeah, probably. I've so seen that you're before. telling me that you can sell third-party seller through Fred Meyer or Ralph's or I don't know Very any of these possible. other Dillions? I that's. I don't have I'm all intrigued. the answers, but I'm moving on to this new item. So how much for this? I'm gonna say forty bucks. Wherever it went. You oh, said it was there. about $75. Okay, $35. Right around there. $35 to $40. I'm going to go $40. Okay, $40 in our pocket done. Hmm. Look at this, guys. Inquiring minds want to know. 
It was on the corner of the palette. So hopefully that was already like that to begin with and it didn't get smashed. I can't believe you were having us now eat Brussels sprouts. Oh, what do you mean I'm having? If it was up to me, it would have been sardines. Yeah, this is not looking very good, guys. I think we got more zero money here. This was some sort of a lantern. Um, there's wires hanging out of the inside. Here's a... So obviously this isn't glass, it's plexi. So there's one, two, three plexis. The fourth one is laying on the bottom in here. We could try to maybe sell it still as a lantern <laughs> if, if we can straighten it out. Mike. <laughs> wow. All right, look out, move it on, get a new item. I think that was hopeless. That was hopeless. I tried for a second. Remember, I said this is going to be a boom or a bust. Okay, where's the boom? What, the, is that it? The Ugg comforter I'm still stuck on that I don't want to get rid of because I want to be cocooned in it. Hey, this looks this like is a good sports item. Rack. This looks yeah. good. Yeah, now let's see if there's the barcode. Let me scan that while you're cutting that open. I can look up, look it up. I can turn around and show them what it looks like. Well, it looks like it's some sort of a, I mean, they show bicycles. Wow. Like, there is a piece hanging out of it right here. Well, let's open this up and let's check that out. Is it worth a lot of money? It's worth some decent money. Worth enough to be looked up? Yes. Or to uh, open it? Yes. Oh, man, across got... the board. Mike likes it when I say across the board. They got like 10 pounds of tape on this. You guys. That could mean a good thing. $157. Return slip says item too big. Well, I can see dust. They they used it. I mean, it's been all there's marks. It's been all bolted together and and used. These haven't. Oh, yes, this has been opened. Yes. I'll tell you what. I'll be skeptical whether it's even all here, you guys. This Just has for, been used. Yeah. How was it too big when you actually used it? Well, they used it and then decided that it was too big. So. Amazon returns, it says. That's interesting, guys, because this wasn't supposed to be an Amazon palette. I find okay. this very interesting, too, that they use it long enough to get dog hair stuck oh, in there and dust bunny stuck in there. It's you. It was not just tested. They didn't put it together and then decide that it didn't fit. No, they Mr. Used it. Mr. Cannot say your name. Right. Hey, we know your name, though. Mm hmm from Florida. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I got you. So here's the interesting <laughs> thing is that said Bed Bath and Beyond. I got you there. But the other paper inside said Amazon. So something a little sketchy happened there. Something sneaky. Brand new curtain I'm not rod, even guys. gonna write a price on that because that if it's broken or missing pieces, I feel like there's obviously something we'll, sneaky we'll have to pulled check on it that out. one. So as of now I gotta leave that at a zero. Curtain rod. Very, very basic rod. We'll cut, we'll write this down as five dollars. I think Terry lost her slip. I her, did. her money slip. My money slip. All right, five dollars basic curtain rod. All right. There. No, I can't lose it. Whoa! Here, get this one. Quick. We almost had a oh man, why is there duct tape on that? Quick, call 911. What's the number? <laughs> wooden? No, it's not wooden. Made to look wooden curtain rod. Now this is a this is a different one, huh? So we can probably get ten out of this one. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can show you guys what it looks like. Hopefully, you're probably able to see could that. get ten out of this one. If Let's they have out. enough design and style, um, we can usually sell them for eight or ten dollars. Fifty dollars. But curtain rods are never money makers for us, you guys. I don't know how you do or where you live. 
for us. They just, no. we just sell them cheap to get them out of the way. Move them, move them along. All right. Yeah, $50 for that. So here's a pretty large area rug. But it's um, been rolled up with duct tape. What's interesting is just a little bit of duct tape. This is still the, some other taping. Okay, let's see. I'm going to risk it, guys. I'm going to give it the sniff test. Don't do it. You're already eating Brussels sprouts. It smells new. Notice I didn't put my nose on it. <laughs> Um, it does smell new. This is a large big, rug. Big, big rug. This is a big Let's one. Roll it here. There's a barcode. Did you find one? Right here. Oh, man. You guys may be surprised on the price on this. I'm going to boom this, mm. I think. Made in Turkey, too. That's a good rug. Wait, wait, wait. It is coming up. Most of your higher quality that rugs come not... from Turkey, uh, Pakistan, in the Middle East. That's where they make the highest quality rugs. That is not the same rug. Oh, really? Oh, that is not. Oh, somebody did so something let's see. here. Remove did they this. they peel that off? Oh, no, that's the wrong. Mm -hmm. I think we should just type it in. Yeah, we're going to have to because we can't get that off right without a heat gun. Okay. So let's see. Greek key rug. Let's see what that comes up. Images. I may have it here, but I gotta wait till she's done. <laughs> you didn't turn your phone It off. looked like $183 on Overstock. Same pattern, different color. Do you think it's... I got it. Right here. Okay, so that's a little bit different, but it's very similar. I think that's this rug right here. Okay. So what do and you got? And it's, it's in another language. Uh-oh. Well, it's made in well, Turkey. How much is that? That's, um... I don't know what that is. Hmm. I have no idea how much that is. I don't either. What's the name of the rug? Well, I... Greek, Greek key rug. Greek key. Yeah. Color. Bone slash dark something beige. I'm over it. I'm calling it 50 bucks. Wait, I found it at Lowe's. No, that's not it. <laughs> Keep going. Hang in there with us, guys. You keep going. I got another duct tape box. Obviously a return. So let's just open it up and see what we got. I'm really skeptical. I don't ever, like... Oh, man. Dude, get this open. Oh, these are good. An original arrow bed. The real question will be, is this any good? Has it been used? Does it have a hole in it? These are automatic. Um, in, not automatic. In, they're um, air mattresses with a pump built in. They're very expensive. Yeah, it looks really good. So we would keep looking into this. I've seen the pump. very, very much mixed results. Very much mixed results on this. The thing is, is that I'm seeing anywhere from, when I say mixed results, I see anywhere from $90 to $900. Okay. So it's, it's all over the place. I think it really depends on what pattern you have, if it's indoor, outdoor. I mean, this one's 2500 It's just, it's all over the I'm place. I'm going to call it 50 bucks. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, purpose. I'm going to put it down for $100. We're going to find this rug $100. and there is a screenshot. So, $100. All right for math right now and we need to find that one for 
a screenshot here. Well, we, what do you got? We have an aero bed, guys. Ooh. Obviously, it has to be tested. It's $115 at the store. So, we'll test it, figure out. What size? Full size, which is like the hardest one to sell. Yeah, but that'd be great for camping. It would. And camping season's coming. Well, no, not camping. This is an electric one. you got to be able to blow this up at home. Well, why can't they blow it up off of a generator camping? Well, yeah, you could if you have a generator. A lot of people do. Okay. Well, that's more of a home home one. It even says it's a luxury How much pillow top. did you say? 50? If it's good and it's not dirty or look like it's been used or anything, we can get 50. Okay, 50 it is. Okay. All right, what you got? Let me help you with something. That one? Dum We have the Ninja Foodie Two Basket Air Fryer. Question is, my friends, is it new or used? Mike, you want to do a sniff test? No. I'll sniff it after I see what it looks like. Exactly. These sell really good, you guys. We just unboxed one of these yesterday. Who knows when you when you've seen that video? If it's already been out or not? Ready? But yeah. Hold the box. But, um, keep going. You gotta go. <laughs> you gotta go slow. You gotta. It takes a while to, to uh, it kind of creates a vacuum. These sell really well, though. Um, what was they saying? Oh, yesterday we unboxed one of these and it sold this morning. Not factory wrapped. Oh, what in the world? What is that? Oh, that's just a scuff. From my angle. Yeah, I got a feeling this one. <laughs> it's gonna be used. Oh, it's used. Like the question no, is how bad. I have a feeling it's gonna be used. Oh, no. Notice how I emphasize that. Actually, that's pretty clean. There is a little crumb there. It's not like in 2020 when we got the one with the chicken leg. No, it looks good. No. Honestly. This is a dual zone where you cook two things at the same time. This side, I can tell, has been used more than the other side. So, um, this is nice. This is going to be $75 in our pocket, you guys. Hey, there you go. Pre-owned in this condition, $75. And, that, and it'll sell fast at that price. Seven, 75 Nice. There you yes. go, there you go. I love selling these because they sell so fast. Um, was there a manual in here? Um, no, there was not a manual. All right. No, I don't see a manual. I was wondering if it fell down. No, the I don't remember seeing one come uh -huh. out of it. Okay, good hit. That's a good one. Okay, next. All right. Yeah. Okay, here, I'm going to bring you a good one. Oh, and it's king. Yep. We just had this one, didn't we? Like no. Like a couple weeks ago? No. We did it? Mm. We had one a couple weeks ago that was like the same print. Was it us? Yeah. I remember it. But anyway, I don't think it was a king, though. I don't think you could ever get that back in there like that. Oh, wait. Is it? This is, or is that the fuzz? This okay. is the fuzz. It's like a Sherpa on the inside. I thought that I saw pet hair on it, but it's actually just from the material. Smell it. Okay. Smells brand new. I can't believe you did that. You just got to toughen up. Yeah, no, no, not to there. Oh, come on. Your customers want to know whether it's new or not. There's just Perfect. only one way to find and you're out. you're the greatest person to do it. Actually, I don't have the supersonic... Sniffer like you do. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> hey, I got to give her credit, you guys. She can hear the a pin drop and smell the most random smell from a mile away. I can't do it. So, um, I guess that's it's just good, what makes us a good team. It's a good, a good and bad team. thing all in one. Because I can smell something. I'm like, what's burning? What's electrical? What do I smell? And he's like, I smell nothing. I'm like, no, I smell something. 
and we'll go back and forth, or I'll hear something. What's that? I don't He's hear He's like, it. I hear nothing. I'm like, no, listen. He's like, there's nothing about listen. All right. <laughs> what do we have now? But the good thing is, is we can also listen and we can hear somebody talking ways away. Four items left, guys. And as long as he stays quiet, I could listen. And I'm like, they just said blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like a spy. <laughs> okay, what do we got? I know this is a boom right here. It is. That didn't come up. <clears throat> One more try. One more try. There we go. There we go. Let's click shopping and get a variety. Uh, we got no variety, but we do have Bed Bath & Beyond That's right where off. It came from. And it was, oh, they're clearing it out. It was originally $230. It is yeah. now down to $160.99. That's still a boom. That is still boom. Boom. What do you think? Wow. 75 bucks? Uh, definitely. I mean, look at that screenshot. Look at that. Oh, once that leaves there. But yeah. Awesome, you guys. King right. size Ugg. Yes. $75 all day long on that one. With the soft faux fur feeling. Soft faux fur feeling. Fofa. All right, guys. I still want you to say fofa. I want you, you're lucky you didn't get the peanut butter and pickle sandwich, because then I would have wanted you to sit there and try to say folks over and over while you're eating your sandwich. Here's the deal, guys. I cannot stand pickles. I despise them. But I would have took that pickle sandwich over Brussels sprouts and blue cheese crumbles any day. You absolutely hate blue cheese. I absolutely hate Brussels sprouts. And I do. Oh, I don't like Brussels sprouts. Mike, we just need. Okay, may, we may just have to have a cold beverage. This okay, one, guys. just a. I don't know what. Look at this box condition. I just figured I'm going to show you that ahead of time, and um, how many items have we done here? How many items are we supposed to have? Fifteen. So let's see what we got going on here. So they, I'm going to. Yeah. Well, this here's. I already answered a question. Here we go. What I was saying that for, guys, is because this had two inventory control stickers on it. Mm. But that is because there are two of these in here. So this is a case pack of brand new Wamsuda 9-foot round hand crank umbrellas. Black Patio and white. umbrellas. Black these and are white. awesome. Wow. Oh, and they have the tilting head on them. These are awesome, you, you know guys. What? With we a can, wood pole. You can feel like you're on vacation and let your cabana boy come tilt the umbrella for you. These are going to sell so fast, it's going to be unbelievable. You Absolutely. like how I said cabana boy, yeah. not cabana girl? Yeah, well, guess what, guys? Oh, we got a 444 number coming up. No wonder I can't find it. I just have to manually search that. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Let's see what we got here. These are awesome. Very quick sellers these will be. We're at the perfect time of year right now. They're not damaged. They're in perfect condition from what I can tell. Well, I thought you were doing a manual, so you didn't tell me you are doing a voice search. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Now I gotta be silent. <laughs> silent, be still. <laughs> Wamsuda, nine foot round umbrella with crank. You may continue. Okay. Did you find it? In due time, my friend. That's close enough. How do you know that's close enough? Well, it's from the same store. <laughs> okay. It's close enough. All right. Keep going. Keep going. I am. Move your toes now. Overall, wanna... we're looking about $90 a piece for those. Um, obviously, there's different colors. I at least want to stick with the same brand as possible from there. So. Check this out. Ooh, there's one even called Cabana. So we're roughly around $90 a piece. I feel very confident at $45 each. Okay. I was going to say $50. All right. What you got? Well, so far it has tape on it, guys. 
because this cardboard looks like it's maybe it's been wet and was falling apart, but it's still glued and it's never actually been opened. Seriously? Yeah. But we obviously have to check it to see if it's damaged. But it says it's some sort of a, yeah, that's what I thought. And it is. Oh, that's. Yeah. This is brand new, you guys. What's that? What's this? It's a uh, logo, see? Right here. Look. Oh! It's just part of the. I, I thought did the it was a little thing. stain on the out. stitching area. It's not. It's The logo is printed on the material. It's <clears> a, a fold away. What is that? It, oh, it comes with the headboard? Yeah. I didn't know oh. it came with a headboard. Okay, it is know. a fold away. Um, like a guest bed, you guys. All four wheels are down there on the bottom. Look they at that. are loose, though. I don't. You think, like, maybe it's been used? I don't know. Let's see. Kind of makes me wonder if it was. Like, maybe somebody had company for a little while. You know, and they're like, uh, well, hey, we'll just get this. And it is very possible that somebody may have used it, but this is in as close to new condition as you're ever gonna find, so I feel pretty good about it. It's in two places, which I find very ironic. Tractor Supply Company. All right. That's where I would go to buy a bed. <laughs> or Bonanza. Well, Price difference, 170 to 284. So, I guess I'll go with the tractor supply company at 170. It's again as interesting as that is. I call this and uh wow. We're off to the tractor store Mike to buy a bed. I call this honestly about $60 in our pocket. So there's your screenshot. Really? What do you think? Not everybody needs a portable fold-away guest bed. I'm going to call it 75 to 80. You think so? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to call it 75. 75. Right, 75 we're going to try 75 it is. I, I think 75 Boom! would be good. I've never gotten one of those. No. Wait, no actually... We, we got the med, no, we got the medical bed. No, we did get one of those, not nearly as cool as that one, but we did get a little fold-up bed one time a couple of years ago. That's cool. But it was all just metal. It was just with the springs. And was that the one that was on the second story floor? No, we got it in a liquidation pallet. Oh, I thought you were talking about the one that we got, but that was a big medical bed, though. Uh -oh, Remember on the I, second story floor, that yeah. storage facility? Yes. Look at this, guys. What have we got? What have I we don't got? know, but it has a little handwritten note right here. that says, item too big. Right? Well, the bo it's bulging out of the box. I feel like this is a giant bedding set. Can you imagine what this cost of this is a, If this is a giant bedding set, can you imagine how big that bedding set is? Look at this box. Okay. This box is like four feet. I get that, but think about when you get like those big 24-piece sets, and they're all packed in the bag real nice from the manufacturer. Have you ever tried to put one of those back in the box or in the bag? Every day, don't you? Really? <laughs> You're starting to get on my nerves. Hey, one of them will take me. <laughs> I didn't say I'm getting rid of you. <laughs> anyway, my point oh, you was... Mean, you mean I don't have to eat Brussels sprouts tonight? <laughs> my point was... Sometimes it can be hard to get it back oh, in. Oh, I remember this. And this is stuff, awesome. Okay, great. It's awesome. Let's see what it is. Why did you cover it back up? What's the point because of that? Because I need your attention. Oh, okay. Okay, ready? Yes. Ta-da! You have no idea what it is. It's a chair. I can tell it you that. It is a chair. Is it one chair or more than it one? It is one chair. Apparently, it's too big. Take that cover off. That's the back. Oh, I was just going to show them a screenshot. I want to see it in the first place. Remember, we got to put this back in here. Still. I think we could figure out to put a bagged bubble wrap over the back of a chair. <laughs> Love you. So, look at 
out, though. There's the seat. Um, I mean, they did. I think they actually put it together. Look at that. That's interesting, huh? Piece of grass in there. They put it together. So hopefully they didn't. Hopefully, that, hold on. Hopefully this isn't ripped out or something. That they didn't damage. Mm -hmm. What I've seen people do before is damage the legs when they're putting them together. That's fine. Maybe it literally was just too big. But you know what I find funny? This isn't in all the way. That one does have a chip in it, but it's not um, broken. Okay, very well usable. So how about a retail price with a screenshot? That is their baggie, if you can see that. Some uh, action hero, Marvel, I don't know. Who is this, Mike? I don't know. He's, I probably don't know. He's purple. I do know. I bet you one of our viewers can tell me who he is, please, someone. Put his name down for me. But Purple. make sure you tell me it was the, the character from the baggie, because otherwise if you just give me a random name on here. I'm going I'm to look at that comment thinking, what is this person talking about? All right. Okay, here. Here's this. So the reason it was bulging is because they... The chair. They didn't get it back in the way so it probably came. So how much came. is this? And I don't know how it does either. Um, here, I got right it here. on here. Okay, go. Uh, it's probably crazy expensive. Hopefully, this and I'm going to assume work. that we're going to get a probably about thirty percent of the retail. Probably, did you get it? Mm -hmm. I did. The cheapest place actually on here. Oh, wait, there is Target. Oh, forget Target. Target was even more. <laughs> okay, we'll go to Target. But I'll tell you the reality of the other place. Target, because they'll make a better screenshot. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Just tell them. $330. Wow. You don't get a wow that. You pick what? on me. <laughs> you say, oh, this place. $330. Oh, this Bed, place. Bath, and Beyond has it for $229. $229, guys. $100 less. And that's not even on sale, you guys. Wow, that's actually a good screenshot, too, though. I'm going to say we're going to get about $125 out of that chair. Here, we'll give you that screenshot. It's a little better. Um, I think it's a great chair. I don't think you have a hard time at all with it. Okay, Mike, this oh, was supposed to be the boom boom part. Oh, man. Remember, I said at the very beginning of this video, this video was going to be a boom or a bust. Maxi Cozy Travel System, guys. What are these this is out? the stroller and the car seat. Okay, you scan it. I'm going to open it. I'm almost thinking this might be the factory tape on here. I don't really need any more I like it. strollers and car seats right now, but this is a good brand that people do like. Across the board, Bye Bye Baby, Bed Bath & Beyond, Target, $400, guys. Cross our fingers, this is new. Dun, Ooh. dun, dun. That's not supposed to be like that. And that's why you open the box. You the, can't assume it's always new. The wheels are not used. We will need to 100% pull this out and inspect it. What's this weak, Kimasabi? I'm making you Brussels sprouts. What I can tell you is it has not been used. Okay. The real question is, did it arrive to the original purchaser and something was damaged and so they sent it back? But... So. What do you think, Mike? This is say it's good, it's new, it's just out of the bag. If it's new, nothing I mean, this damaged. This is still on here, so I'm really curious. I'm gonna say it's gonna be tough. People are gonna be a little bit hesitant because it's not factory packaged. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say one. 75. It's 400? Yes. I would normally try 200 on it. I like 175. I'm going to try for 175, but it is possible that we may only get 150. Okay. 
I think if it's never been used, it's complete and so on. I, I totally Here's think. Here's the you, stroller frame. I totally frame. think you could get one seventy-five for it. Here's the stroller frame. There's the wheels. I don't see anything wheels. damaged. Go ahead and start adding up, and I'll just. All kind right. Of, here's the front wheels. Nothing damaged there. I mean, this is it's looking really good, you guys. Here's a doohickey. Got two of those. I mean, at this What's point. What's a doohickey, Mike? In time, you just add. I'll talk about the doohickeys. <laughs> Oi. Oh, here you go. So, the car seat has been used. That's what they did. Not very much. I mean, it's just barely. But they did They did try it out. I can see a mark here. None of the tags are attached. The seat belts are all loose. So, we were at 175. You want to drop this down to 150? 150. Okay, so let me change the numbers. Why? Yep, we're going to say 150, you guys. We want to give you... Good realistic expectation. So take another twenty-five dollars off of that. I don't even know how to put it back in the box. There we go. That was magical. All right. All right. Let's so hear let it. me tell it's you. It's still Hannah, a boom. This is still a boom, Mike. Yes. This is you this guys. Is the boom train still did come through. Oh, yeah. So that was awesome. I love that for Friday. Here we go. All in. 385 I said we should at least be able to get 385 profit off of it. A double up, correct? Okay. And we so, got? 385 all in. Potential sales of $900, yeah. which would be a potential profit of $515. So that is more than a double up on it. That is Boom. adjusting this down to yes. $150. That is assuming the rug at $100. Now we may have to bring that down to $60. If that is an $800 rug, we'll be increasing the price on that rug. I don't think it is. No. But we have to look at it. I mean, we got two items that were no good. Mike. And I won't keep it. But I could dream about that UGG comforter to wrap myself in. So, it has been a great palette, an amazing Friday, and the boom train came through, but it's not over with yet. No, because you got to go eat dinner. Get your salivas ready. All right, guys. <laughs> you ready? Here comes the dinner video right now. All right, guys, here we are. It's dinner time. We have ordered our pizza. Oh, boy. Terry has made up a special... Um, Dish here of <laughs> Brussels sprouts and crumbled blue cheese. Ooh. Um, Mike is just drooling for one it. One of those people that always try to get your children to eat their greens. It might not be a good time for them to watch right now. Um, this is what we've got here. I don't know, guys. I don't know, guys. The pizza picture looks a lot better, doesn't oh, yeah, it? Here. This is going to be boom right here. Oh, so, so okay. Mike, um, these are cut in half. Okay. So you got to have two bites to be one full Brussels sprout. Two bites. I'm going to do the spoonfuls. Are you eating your whole bowl? I don't know. We'll find out after the, <laughs> after the first bite. Well, hey, if you like it, go for it. Okay. It's healthy. We do have some refreshments to help wash it down if we don't like it. So, okay, should we just do it at the same time? Wow, I'm going for it. Let's just right, get guys. it over. It smelled good okay, cooking, here. but past that... Here, look at that. Look at the size of this. You ready? Okay, I'm doing it. <gasps> no, I'm doing it. Oh! A challenge is a challenge. Oh. That's actually really good. That's actually not bad, you guys. It's like the blue cheese kind of uh, offset the Brussels sprout taste. What do you think? That's not bad. No. We grew up, Mike. We did. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> We're grown up now. I think what Master... That's not bad at all. I think what Master was the garlic butter helped. Oh, she, I didn't know she juiced it up there with some garlic butter. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. She's not liking it, guys. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 
I'm going for the pizza. You be healthy. You eat that. What? <laughs> okay, I'll eat some more. I'm doing it, guys. I'm bringing the boom. That was a lot of blue cheese. Okay, I'm out. Let's go for that pizza. Now, let's see how the pizza is. Mm. So, that was Brussels sprouts, garlic Brussels, garlic butter Brussels sprouts with a little bit of Parmesan and a ton of blue cheese crumbles on it. You want to tell them what's on here? This is, it's uh, all meat, which is pepperoni, Canadian bacon, linguisa, sausage, breakfast sausage, and we added bay shrimp because, you know, we're seafood people. Wow. This is as long as be... they're not little fishies. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, this is the bomb. Oh, man, you guys. Mm. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. One, one of our favorite pizzas. That is delicious. I'm going to have a beverage. Beverage is a taco pizza. That's actually a bean sauce. Uh, is there meat on it or not? I just, I just yeah. comprehended that. Is there? The bean sauce, the lettuce, like Doritos, shredded cheese, um, tomatoes, onions. Why are you telling me? Tell them. I'm <laughs> thinking about the meat sauce. <laughs> They're having dinner with us tonight All now. Right. Well, so, uh, you guys, there there it is. Um, I hope you enjoyed our fun Friday. Wow. And... Uh, we're going to go ahead and finish up our dinner now. We're going to, yes, and please leave us some great comments on what you think for the next food challenge for the disgusting category should be. And let's see what comes up for next Fun Friday. Okay. Okay, I hope you guys wow. liked that. That was disgusting. <laughs> we'll find out real soon how disgusting. <laughs> so, of course, you guys... Hey, we are reality oh, here. We filming in no, the past tense here. No, we are reality here. here. That's what they like of us is we're reality and we're honest with them. So, of course, you guys. No matter what you do, have an amazing yes. weekend, you guys. Stop by tomorrow. Definitely have a really great video for Saturday. Double. Let's do double palette. I just told them we have a great video for Saturday. Well, we can push that one back off and we'll do double palette. Let's film with double palette. I'm game for, I'm just trying to avoid Brussels sprouts, Mike. <laughs> you guys have a great right, weekend. Guys. Enjoy Saturday's video. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.